Welcome to Stories of Courage, a podcast series by Max Healthcare. Along with expert medical care, a patient's courage and resilient spirit play a critical role in overcoming a difficult disease. Aaye, is podcast mein sunen kuch aisi hi courage ki stories. Today for this session we have PC. Is that right? Punita Chadha. So PC is how she is known across in her professional circles, in her social circles. And as I always realize that patients are not just patients; they are multifaceted individuals, personalities. And we have a tendency to look at only one part of it. But the more you understand the wholesome person, the more we engage and learn. So today we'll, as PC will talk about her journey, we'll know more about her different aspects of her life and also. how she managed to cope with the her cancer journey i am harit chaturvedi i am a cancer surgeon at max and uh, i focus on breast thoracic and head neck cancers and we have a very robust focused oncology program at max healthcare by the name max institute of cancer care where we have kept focus on the word care we realize that it's not just the treatment part it's the holistic part which is very important and valuable so first of all thank you punita for sharing giving your time and coming and willing to share your story because sometimes people don't want to ta- share their stories thank you so much dr harit um uh, thank you for looking beyond the patient and looking at the person and their insecurities and their uh, fight the battle the acceptance of their disease uh, so thank you so much yeah i'm known as pc my name is punita chadda khanna and um I am uh, just to tell you quickly I'm an army brat I grew up in an army household traveling throughout the country um and then professionally I'm an MBA I worked uh, for Broy Hotels for 15 years and Aman Resorts for 5 so professionally I'm a hotelier I'm also an organic farmer I'm also the curator and conceptualizer a conceptualizer of the artisanal market which happens in Gurgaon You're also a daughter. You're also a mother. You're yes. also a wife and and <laughs> yes. friend to so many, isn't yes. it? Yes, I'm. I'm privileged to be a daughter to my mom, who's a very brave lady. Um, my husband, who's my most wonderful friend, and I have two 19-year-old twins. So, Punita, please share your how it got diagnosed, how your breast cancer got diagnosed. So, um, just to say before that that I'm one of those people who normally never goes to the doctor, and I have to be dragged if I have any ailment. but it just so happened that this was me in april end of 2021 my whole family was hit by the delta wave of covid and all the four members in my family were down with covid including my 82 year old mother my husband who's a uh, who was about 50 uh, 354 and my children um i was isolated in another room and it one fine evening i was just reading a book lying on my stomach and my hand went to my breast and i felt a lump it was it was just by chance by sat up i i was actually lying on my stomach because at that time they were saying that if you lie on your stomach your lungs get more oxygen or whatever some yeah, thing yeah, was going was. on so which is why i was lying on my stomach and reading a book which was on the floor and which is why i touched my breast and jab mujhe laga ki wahan pe lump hai main uth ke baithi fir mujhe laga nahi hai lump fir main leti fir mujhe lump dikha laga फिर मैं उठ के बाथरूम में गई आई डिड माई सेल्फ एग्जामिनेशन फिर मुझे लगा कि है लम्प लकीली वो आई थिंक लास्ट डे था मेरे हस्बैंड के क्वारंटाइन का और फिर मैंने उनको बोला कि मेरे को ऐसा लग रहा है एंड कहीं पे करीब एक डेढ़ महीना पहले किसी डॉक्टर ने मेरे एक फेसबुक ग्रुप पे बोला था दैट वी आर फाइंडिंग सो मेनी पेशेंट्स आर कमिंग विद the disease is having got because they're so scared of covid ki log normal check up nahi kara rahe hain to unke paas unki jo normal diseases hai wo bahut badh rahi hai to kahi subconsciously mere dimag mein unki ye baat thi and i always owe that to that person um so when i felt it i it was 10th of may and it is really the worst time in delhi there was no oxygen there were no hospital beds people were literally dropping like flies and left tarahi tarahi machi hui thi ek tarah se covid ke karan तो बहुत डर लग रहा था कि हॉस्पिटल कैसे जाएं तो लकीली हमारे कॉन्डो में एक कोई लेडी हैं जो गायनोकोलॉजिस्ट है मैंने उनको फ़ोन किया तो शी सेड कि आप मेरे घर आके मेरे से मिल लीजिए सो मैंने वेंट टू हर उनको भी मेरा लंप नहीं फील हो रहा था सो आफ्टर आई डोंट नो व्हाट इट वाज कि आई वॉज इंसिस्टिंग कि नहीं है मेरे लम्प है मेरे बेस में तो उन्होंने फिर मेरे को भेजा मैमोग्राम के लिए 
एंड जब मैमोग्राम हुआ एंड आई आई नो दैट फैसिलिटी वेरी वेल और मैं कई बार उनके पास गई हूँ पहले भी मैमोग्राम के लिए एंड आई कुड मेक आउट की कोई प्रॉब्लम है फिर अल्ट्रासाउंड हुआ देन वी हैड अ बायोप्सी एंड दिस ऑल हैपन्ड बिटवीन टेंथ एंड थर्टीन ऑफ मे so i would say that generally people have a tendency that if you find a lump they call up somebody and check out ki kuch should i do something kuch karne ki zarurat hai and there will be confusion about the diagnosis people have a tendency to i am generalizing should not be generalized but the one part of the story which i want to address is that there should be no delay Hunch. how do we make sure or how what can we do or for example you got something resonated in your mind that somebody had said that don't ignore we are seeing delay in diagnosis so this delay is one of the factors which plays a critical role absolutely in detection so i think you are not a fitness alert person you were not somebody who were going for regular checkups or things like that actually uh, for i was aware um, i i was doing regular mammograms till 3 years i didn't do any mammogram before that i was doing regular mammograms i got um, really involved with my work and december 25th used to be my mammogram time and for 2 years i had not done my mammogram so when i felt the lump i was aware in my mind also that i haven't done my mammogram for 2 years uh, but you absolutely right along the journey i met so many women who were who found the lump some friend said nahi hota hai husband said koi nahi dikha denge and then like 6 months later it's 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 really moved from moved, stage 1 yes. to 2 and yes, things like that it's become more aggressive so i think that is very important that we all have a chance to address ourselves keep your your health at least at some premium it should not be just a absolutely i think we can't i think women who are above a certain age who have a who have a disposition aapki dadi ya nani ya family mein hai i think ye to uh, we shouldn't take this like even agar nahi bhi hai tab bhi uh, should, whatever yeah. any symptom is a symptom, symptom and one yes. should ask but we should even without the symptom i think that checking up is important yeah. we must yeah. do it yeah so then it got diagnosed yeah so i went for the biopsy the biopsy was done and then i got they said ki we we'll let you know in 72 hours and then the doctor called earlier and when they called earlier i was like this is not good news mm. which is why they called फिर हम डॉक्टर को मिलने गए तो आई सेट क्या है शी सेट नहीं आप आके हमको मिले सो वी माय हस्बैंड एंड आई रैन टू द हॉस्पिटल एंड आई एट दैट टाइम जस्ट गोइंग टू द हॉस्पिटल वाज आर्गेनाइजिंग बिकॉज दो मास्क एक शील्ड एक पीपी किट बिकॉज इट वाज यू नो दैट टेरिबल टाइम सो इवन गोइंग टू द हॉस्पिटल वॉज स्ट्रेसफुल और ऐसे टाइम मतलब ऐसी कंडीशन में तो बहुत ही ज़्यादा स्ट्रेस था बट एनी हम उनके पास गए तो उन्होंने मुझे बोला दैट द गुड न्यूज़ इज़ कि वो छोटा है it's um they thought it was 1.2 mm uh but the bad news is that it is tnbc uh so at that time i did not know that like cancer is a very broad word and breast cancer is a very broad word or uske andar there are so many cancers it's like so many multiple diseases right. we is. all just put you know cancer as one heading but so i asked her i said what is tnbc and then she said then she explained what it was so um वहाँ से लेके घर तक मैंने गूगल करा एंड दैट वाज नॉट गुड न्यूज बिकॉज टी एन बी सी इज़ द मोस्ट अग्रेसिव ब्रेस्ट कैंसर विद द हाइस्ट रिटर्न रेट सो दैट वाज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट फोर्टी एट आवर्स आई वुड से ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वाई इट हैड व्हाट हैड हैपन ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड कि क्या कर सकते हैं किस लेवल पे डिजीज़ है कहाँ पर जाएँ kitni at that time we didn't even know ki whether it spread through the body not spread through the body so those few days were were so if somebody has to say that you said ki googled and then you checked out and you said it's very un, uh, one of the aggressive types so what is your take on googling for checking out your disease um <laughs> i think it helps but i think at the time when you're in a panicked mode and not with enough information then maybe it's best not to not google to, yeah so once I, you're better informed and you know and you're looking for options then it's a better mode because the first thing i thought about was literally it made it sound like a death knell and yeah. my kids were then giving their 12th boards and mere ko ye tha ki mere bach you know like will i see my kids pass their 12th or not so it was it felt like somebody had given me a death sentence so it, it was, was my, going to be my next question that how it feels when you get diagnosed it, it jolts you whether you don't understand the tumor type you understand the extent whatever but just the word cancer is 
आई थिंक कैंसर तो मतलब बहुत हवा है ना वर्ल्ड में सो सो मैंने मैं अगर देखूँ तो इफ आई ब्रेक माई ओन प्रोफेशनल लाइफ इन टू डिफरेंट पार्ट टू टूडे वी आर एबल टू क्योर मोर देन फिफ्टी फाइव सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ कैंसर इन फैक्ट इन द वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड ऑलमोस्ट सेवेंटी परसेंट प्लस एंड दे आर मल्टी फैक्टोरियल रीजन्स डिटेक्शन थोड़ा इम्प्रूव हो चुका है पहले से जल्दी डायग्नोज होता है लोग पीपल आर मोर अवेयर बेटर टूल्स बेटर डायग्नोसिस बेटर इंटरप्रटेशन एवरीथिंग एज चेंज इन फैक्ट इन लास्ट थर्टी ईयर्स एज डेटा टू से दैट बट स्टिल दैट हवा इज नॉट गोइंग आउट आई थिंक टाइम एज कम फॉर अस टू टेक दैट स्टिंग आउट ऑफ कैंसर आई थिंक दीज स्टोरीज विल हेल्प अ लॉट इन दैट टू पीपल टू अंडरस्टैंड सो यू सेट दैट गूगल करना इज राइट to get the information to arm yourself i think that's a very very valuable advice what you said that one should not feel helpless you arm yourself make your list of questions don't get overwhelmed by the fear factor and i'm sure people tell you keep positive socho nahi ghabrao nahi any so what what is your see emotional ups and downs will be there how do you, do you cope with all this so like i said the first a few days were devastating i think till i had my pet scan and i met you and you know we said okay it's localized i i think the journey till the point where you know what you're facing i think the the thing is that you get diagnosed with cancer and then it takes a while for you to know ki how bad is it and what all will it entail uh, and how bad it is not yeah and how bad it is not not yeah so once that once the pet scan happened and i once i knew it was localized and my lymph nodes were not there the scare was still there it was definitely yeah. there the uncertainty was there it's not the easiest treatment okay. uh but i came home really ghar aayi wapas aaye mere husband aur mere bachon ke exams chal rahe the and then um maine apni mummy ki shakal dekhi she's 82 she was broke breaking down i looked at my children who were absolutely devastated to mujhe laga dena hai ki minka i can't allow my disease to allow my family to break down you know um so i sat them down maine kaha dekho beta ek c sabko hai aajkal and log ko subah bukhar hota hai sham ko they are no more covid covid right and i haven't got that c but i've got the other c and such as god's will but we have a chance to fight this absolutely so we will fight it we'll give it our best shot we don't know what's going to happen but we'll give it our best shot and we'll fight it together and when i said that i think my strength gave the kids some strength um because they were worried about me and and then from that onward that day onwards i think un logon ne mujhe bahut स्ट्रेंथ दिया सो मम्मी ने हजबेंड तो वॉज वंडरफुल मेरे बच्चों ने इन सब ने बहुत स्ट्रेंथ दिया मुझे so that kind of support is very very valuable very precious I think incredible my friends I mean there's there's a friend of mine Radha she is the one who contacted you and she said that okay pc you have to stop googling so any question that i had about cancer we had a whatsapp group my husband radha and me and she would i would tell her my question and then she would google and give me the answer obviously filtering out the bad news but only giving me the facts oh. so i don't think i would have made it through this time without my family my mother my mother in law and my extended family really and friends so which part of this network you were finding it most difficult to communicate in the beginning and what became your main strength i realize ashutosh was there and he is your main strength but other than that you said kids were very supportive and they were so i think you actually brought brought everybody together in this war yeah. in in a way i would it say was, that yeah, in a way you marshaled everybody together yeah. that let us all fight it together yeah. and lot of times i realized it becomes a very i would say empowering experience for the whole family and the whole, so that is why at max when we started this uh, support group program and all that we once did a nidder hamesha campaign and that yes. still remains our tagline that actually when you go through such a journey it empowers and takes the fear out of forever kind yeah. of thing do you feel connect with that yeah i think um, i think different people handle, handle mm. it differently Correct. and along the journey you know while i was getting my chemo done uh, you also realize you're not alone 
I mean, mm. and, and, and the support group that uh, you have at Max really helped. And also, once you start talking, I'm also not a very shy person. Mm. So I was not hesitating in telling people that, look, I'm unwell and I need your help. I think a lot of us patients हम डरते हैं लोगों को बताने में जैसे हमारी कोई गलती नहीं है बहुत खराब बीमारी हुई है हमें हुई है हमें मदद की जरूरत है एंड आई डोंट थिंक कि हमें मतलब वी शुड बी शाई ऑफ आस्किंग फॉर दैट हेल्प आई एम नेवर बीन शाई ऑफ आस्किंग फॉर हेल्प एंड आई थिंक आई आस्ट एवरीबडी फॉर हेल्प एंड द गेम बी दैट हेल्प सो एक वन एडवाइज आई हैव इज कि अगर आपको खुदा ना खास्ता ये बीमारी होती है तो अकेले मत झेलिए इससे अकेले मत स्पीक आउट आस्क फॉर हेल्प पीपल विल गिव यू हेल्प इफ यू आस्क फॉर हेल्प so as that doctors as the nursing staff as the other patients in the room other people family members friends in fact i have seen some very inspiring uh, anecdotes on these things that people have sought help on financial fronts is that and they have got support from unexpected quarters so what you're saying is very valuable that sometimes the challenge looks unsurmountable but the more you marshal people together the more easy it becomes i think and that, i think also for the family because it's a very long journey matlab baaki bimari mein tum bimar hote ho hospital jate ho wapas aa jate ho mahina ded mahina maximum yahan 2 saal ded saal the journey carries on to the pressure on the family is huge bahut pressure hota hai family pe to agar aap apne doston ko rishtedaron ko nahi envelop karoge in your care circle to the pressure on your primary caretaker because i think ashutosh had to do a job he had two kids who were giving 12th and seeking college admission so there was a lot happening in our lives matlab dono bachon ke admissions ho rahe the covid tha boards chal rahe the to agar hamare ye extended circle hum nahi enlist karte bahut mushkil so is there some word of caution for people in this circle extended circle whatever what they should not be doing or doing for that matter i think i think i have heard some of your anecdotes on that that is very precious yes so i i um so what happened was a lot of my friends wo bilkul saath mein aake khade ho gaye kuch log gayab ho gaye bilkul aur wo isliye gayab ho gaye not ki wo care nahi karte the but wo isliye gayab ho gaye ki unko samajh nahi aa raha tha wo kya kare so um to maine do cheez kari ek to mere first chemo ke baad maine apna head shave off kiya aur achhi si jewelry pehni और एक अच्छी सी ड्रेस पहनी और मैंने फेसबुक पे अपनी बॉल्ड फोटो लगा दी और मैंने उसमें लिख दिया बिकॉज मैं बहुत एक्टिव हूँ सोशल मीडिया पे मैंने उसमें लिख दिया कि भैया दिस इज़ व्हाट इज़ हैपन टू मी आई एम गोइंग थ्रू माय कीमो इफ यू मीट मी समवेयर डोंट बी सरप्राइज और शॉक्ट सो आई काइंड ऑफ कम्युनिकेटेड टू द वर्ल्ड दैट आई वॉज गोइंग थ्रू दिस बट सम फ्रेंड्स मेड सम फ्रेंड्स रिलेटिव मेड सम वेरी स्ट्रेंज कॉल्स फ़ोन करके कि पुनीता कौन सा स्टेज है कैंसर का विल यू सर्वाइव और नॉट इज़ इट फेटल so these i really advise people who are who have anybody who's unfortunate enough to get cancer that be a support system don't go and ask such silly questions even if unintended uh ask them how you can help them ask them if you can go with them to their chemo ask them if you can make food and send it for their family ask them if they you can walk the dog or take the dog to the veterinary hospital matlab aap support system baniye matlab logon ko phone karke boliye i'm very sorry punita tumko ye hua hai मैं क्या कर सकता हूँ या मैं क्या कर सकती हूँ और मैं कैसे मदद कर सकती हूँ इफ यू कैन डू दैट फॉर द कैंसर पेशेंट आई थिंक दैट विल रियली हेल्प द पेशेंट गेट थ्रू देयर जर्नी एंड आई थिंक एक मैंने आपको भी पहले बात करी थी कि एक और मेरे को लगा जब मेरा हो रहा था मैंने कई लोगों को बोला अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल ट्रिवलाइज योर डिजीज हाँ ब्रेस्ट कैंसर है कोई नहीं बहुत लोगों को होता है और मेरी चाची की मामी को हुआ था वो तो ठीक हो गई ना आई एम सो ग्लैड दैट आपकी चाची की मामी ठीक हो गई लेकिन जो मेरी जर्नी है वो तो मेरी जर्नी है मुझे कीमो करनी है मुझे रेडिएशन करना है मेरे को मेरी फैमिली ने वो हैंडल करना है तो ट्रिवलाइज मत करिए एवरीबडी हैज़ देर ओन जर्नी डोंट से दैट बिकॉज इट्स नॉट खांसी जुकाम दैट टेन पीपल हैव इट सो यू नो डजन मैटर इट इज़ कैंसर इट इज़ अ सीरियस इट्स अ डिफिकल्ट जर्नी इट्स इट्स नॉट फेटल इट डजन हैव टू बी डेंजरस बट इट्स नॉट एन ईजी जर्नी एंड जस्ट बिकॉज सो मेनी पीपल हैव गॉन थ्रू कैंसर इट डजन मेक माई जर्नी एनी ईजियर so i always say don't trivialize it be there support people uh, help them out but acknowledge the journey that they have and even like today i think um, in a month i will complete two months two years two of years, this journey yes. but i'm still not what i was yeah. i'm still not what i was my energy levels are still less my trauma is still there somewhere at the back of my head um so don't trivialize the journey it's a difficult journey Uh, but be there just be there and don't wait for them to ask for attention is all i say 
so as you said that the journey is so extended and all which part of this journey is i would say see all have their own challenges surgery has its own challenges chemo radiation which one you think or what is the special preparation for each part i would say i won't say which one is more traumatic or difficult i thought the acceptance was the biggest, biggest best, yeah i think the acceptance and the point where you come to a diagnosis of mm. what exactly mm. is your cancer mm. and how did you have this why me syndrome or in that phase of first 48 hours uh, and years mm, not really not really not no really. i didn't because this is another thing which forces people to delay procrastinate yeah no it, I, it was be. like okay I, i'm i'm quite action oriented it's like okay I mean, we have this now. What can we do about it? Which doctor to go to? Which whatever to go yeah, to? Yeah. It was just about marshaling all the resources and keep- for surgery. What was what any special advice or takeaway for people or for chemotherapy for that matter? I think chemotherapy is 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 long. Um, it's 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 traumatic sometimes. Uh, um, you better take all the precautions the doctors ask you to take. I I so by sec third chemo I think was delay, uh, was was uh, was one in which I had a very bad infection so I had been a little careless about what I ate um but but I think now with all the medicines you know I'd heard such stories and thanks to bollywood you know you see all those really horrific uh, scenes I think it was not as bad as it is made out to be I must say now that I've gone through it um uh, there's so many medicines that they give you pre chemo which really help you yeah. handle the after effects so 10 years ago maybe the after effects of chemo were very Much bad more. i think now they're not so bad you still feel terrible <laughs> but yeah you you get through it you get through and it. radiation part radiation <laughs> so by the time my radiation started i was back at work wow. mai subah radiation karati thi aur phir kaam pe jaati thi so so this is something which actually uh, something which makes me feel that What we make out of it, na, we make so much noise. 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 So, Pita, you mentioned that you have spent your childhood across the country, different parts, and I'm sure, like most of us, happy-go-lucky, playing, doing different things. What aspect of that part of your life actually you carried forward, and you felt has been your strength, or your, in some ways, empowered you and in, uh, in difficult times? Um, I think, a, I mean, at such a young age, when you are constantly changing where you live, it gives you. an ability to handle change matlab aap aaj is school mein ho i mean i think i changed eight schools in my life okay so uh, not everybody is blessed with that so. yeah, i don't know blessed or otherwise so aadat pad jati hai to handle change and handle something new to itni jaldi ghabrata nahi hai aadmi i think embrace ha kar lete hain i think that was good i also got a lot of strength from my parents who were very strong people um you know seeing your dad go to war come back i, I had a younger brother who was uh, physically challenged uh, we lost him when he was 16 i saw the dignity with which my parents handled the loss which is the biggest loss ever you know losing a child so i think there were various things in my life which kind of um, equipped me to um, uh, yeah you know kind of take adversity understand yeah it 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 probably didn't make it easier but it probably gave me some skills to handle so it. how to whenever a difficulty comes how really to accept that and then move on is something which your parents empowered you or rather you saw them very closely face all that so you had a different attitude but even if something nothing has happened even if you not changed schools even if you have been to a had a very regular life even these moments like getting diagnosed with Hunch. cancer or as you said the other c was even worse subah diagnosed was shampoo rani anything so i think the issue is that that if we create a mechanism within for meditation for pause for thinking for introspection and then moving forward with a solution probably 
it helps absolutely yeah. isn't it yeah. and, and i think we have to we yeah. have to pull our inner strength I, i keep seeing all this from the other side of the table and also obviously as a human being i also face these things in my personal life yes. so there also but i feel that not getting overwhelmed by the situation is very important so a lot of people say na keep your attitude positive and sometimes it irritates people irks them ki yeah. kya what do you mean by positive attitude yeah. ab ye ho raha so what is your take on that so uh, at different times that word stay positive is helpful or very annoying you're right very annoying uh because obviously i mean if you're hit by something like this you're trying to stay positive but that said i think uh, I just advise people I mean I would now advise people that how I could cope with this because whatever else I had faced in my life this was very personal very direct very um and my only worry was my children so you know what is going to happen to them um is that just distance you like take a step back from the situation a little bit um and then assess your situation matlab thoda sa agar bahut zyada hum apne aap ko i think pehle ek ek do din to aap apne aap ko behne dijiye bhav you know bhavuk hone dijiye rone dijiye because wo bahut zaruri hai that you take all the stress out of your system but uske baad thoda piche hatke apni situation kya hai kya kar sakte hain kya nahi kar sakte wo thoda sa analytical hoke karna hi padega nahi to aap ye handle nahi kar payenge i think to wo bahut hi essential hai i think what i realize also that you acted very fast जी जिस yeah. समय लम फील हुआ बाथरूम गए अंदर आए दोबारा चेक किया तिबारा चेक किया मतलब यू डिड नॉट लेट इट पास एक्चुअली आई आई मैं तो मतलब आई आई डोंट नो व्हाट मेड मी डू दैट एंड एंड डॉक्टर हरित अलोंग द जर्नी जब मैं कीमोथेरेपी के रूम में लेडीज को मिली जिनको दे फेल्ट लम्प है बच्चे को फीड कर रही हैं किसी ने बोला मिल्क डक्ट हैं और फिर वो इग्नोर नहीं कर रहा आई मीन माई होल अर्ज टू एनी कुछ डाउट है ज़्यादा ज़्यादा एक ट्रिप वेस्ट होगा डॉक्टर के पास पर चले जाइए उसको प्लीज़ चेक करा लीजिए बिकॉज दो महीने तीन महीने कैन मेक अ रियल डिफरेंस इन योर इन फैक्ट आई विल एड अ फ्यू मोर सेंटेंसेस टू दिस दैट नॉट जस्ट चले जाइए एक ट्रिप वेस्ट होगा अगर वो डॉक्टर भी कहे कि शायद कुछ नहीं लग रहा है गेट इट री चेक आफ्टर टू मंथ्स आई ऑलवेज फील दैट एनी बडी अ डॉक्टर कैन ऑल्सो एज यू सेड नो वेन यू टॉकिंग दैट समॉलेज दैन दे मिस शी कुड नॉट पैलपेट बट यू सेट दे समथिंग देयर इन देयर सो anybody can miss even oncologists can miss for that matter clinical examination is never complete it is always a clinical radiological pathological correlation so agar aapko kuch doubt aa gaya ek bar to zarur check karaiye and zarur usko investigate and i feel apni gut instinct bahut strong hoti hai hamare mein ha yani jo andar se awaaz aa rahi hai i can see that in your yeah, case haan, yeah ki agar lag raha hai ki kuch gadbad hai to us don't ignore it you know It's, it's Tell me a bit about your farmers market because uh, that is something which is a big, big news. And when first time I went there, I said, "So Gurgaon has become a happening place." <laughs> I come from South Delhi, but I'm like, "Hey, this is South Delhi. So what a job! So it is a very unique experience." Yeah, actually, five years before we moved to Gurgaon, and we lived in Greater Kailash before that, and I lived in Calcutta before that. So when we moved here, I thought that something. Uh, a, I'm an organic farmer. Ten years ago, I was organic farming. Karke. we grow almost 50% of our own what we eat we grow so uh jab main aayi mujhe laga aisa koi opportunity nahi tha so i thought of this idea i approached uh, my partners and they agreed to host it so for 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 4 years this is my fourth season and um, we have at least 50 small businesses every week jo apna kuch khad se banate hain preservative free chemical free and wo aake bechte and the gurgaon uh, people i am very thankful have really adopted the market and they really love it and they come every week every saturday in season october to march uh, they come um, i also am thankful to the market because when i finished my chemo which finished in october my whole thought was can i start my market on time and in november i was actually able to start the market and which is why i was going for the radiation and then coming in and doing it's it's a fair amount of organizing so it also gave me a strength during my treatment to go through it but uh, it's also great because it gives an opportunity to lot of small businesses who are passionate to come and show what they do and when i went there last time i met few of my people i know patients and others so i realized that so many people are back to normal in fact not just back to normal they're living i, I don't mean better lives but i mean that more empowered life in some ways the lives get transformed a bit is that a correct take on this yes i think um 
yeah, to face something like that changes you, right? Mm. It, it changes Some, you completely. Kill you, it makes yeah. you stronger. That's a it saying. It definitely no? makes you stronger. It doesn't k- kill you. Uh, hopefully <laughs> yes. not. And but it makes you much stronger. Uh, you also sensitize to other people's pain. Uh, right. um, you become more empathetic. empathetic. I mean, like when we did the Cancer Day promotion, and I kept, you know, my whole thing was that if we can prevent 10, 20, 30 people from. Or, or we can encourage people to go and do testing in time. So if they have something, they arrest it in time. Uh, that is really important. And I don't think I was so obsessed with this earlier, but mm. now I've taken it as a crusade, really, you know. I keep telling people, are you getting checked? Are you going for your tests? What are you doing? So you'll save more lives than what otherwise we can save. I'm saying this in all humility that as doctors, I feel that we meet people one-on-one, but social movements transform societies. So, so that is what I hope and wish and expect that all us, of us, including medical fraternity, together have an opportunity to transform this cancer, yeah. uh, take the can- the ca- fear of cancer out. Yeah. out. That we can just amazing. minimize its yeah, ravages. Minimize we damage. can minimize that's the right, damage, right. the ravages it has. Really. So you were talking also about uh, how you experienced with, met several doctors, so many hospitals, workplaces. So every time somebody is talking in a positive way, it takes you forward and discouraging tones make you... Are there a few takeaways for the medical fraternity and uh, something for the hospitals to be sensitive to? So, um, I think empathy underlined, highlighted, everything is so, so important. I took my decision to come to Max because everybody there, who I, I interacted with you first, you were so empathetic to my situation. And I understand from the doctor's perspective that it's, not something new. You probably meet 10 people who so have cancer. on the medical fraternity, I can say we don't think like that. I don't think like that. And I know of hundreds and thousands. I'm not saying for Max. I say by training, by experience, by... So people... But I think people get lost in moments, in situations. So I, I realize... And they get carried away. I realize that it's a... Ultimately, after some point, after your diagnosis, it's a very SOP-driven... SOP thing. It's agree. a very SOP-driven thing that, you know, itna MM hai, to ye hoga is chemical, se hogi, uh, chemo, whatever, you know. It, but yes. that empathy, that human factor mm-hmm. uh, for the patient is is really, really important, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, and also, I think the need to be listened to. Mm-hmm. I think, um, if I may say so, two things about our doctor fraternity. One is being late, which you can still understand because, you know, like you, you have emergencies and you get late. But I find that very often when you are with a doctor, they're constantly on a phone, they're constantly being interrupted by their assistant or in some horrifying cases, you are sitting with a doctor and they have two more patients waiting in the same room uh, without any consideration for your privacy. So I feel that that, that if not people acceptable. did, is not acceptable. Yeah, I mean, and I actually feel that my father had cancer of the kidney and I feel his urologist wasn't listening to him uh, when he went to him for his three monthly checkup. If he had been listening to him, he would have caught the fact that he was having bleeding and it could have, you know, probably prevented probably. his cancer. Probably. But but just, uh, no, but, uh, but you don't want that attention from your doctor when you go. So, um, and I was really lucky uh, that even at the at the Lajpat Nagar, you know, onco, uh, chemo center of Max, everyone, like every nurse, every attendant, so empathetic, you know. And I think that really made the journey a little easier. Yeah, really made the journey a little easier. So I think this is a very important takeaway. And for hospitals in general, I think there should be constant engagement towards creating that environment sensitivity alive as palpable. It should be palpable, isn't it? Yeah, I agree, definitely. So if I have to say that few takeaways for patients, for caregivers, for extended family and friends, what are those few messages? One is that patients to be alert, to respond immediately to any change in your body, any change in your symptoms, and look out, go to for quick checkup. Yes. Is that? Yes, absolutely. Don't ignore. Don't ignore. Don't and anything. I would say that even if first round checkup doesn't give anything, repeat. Back, yeah. Repeat. And uh, I think for the caregivers, I have an important message. I think yeah. sometimes we are so busy looking after our family, our friend, that we stop taking care of ourselves. Mm. Um, I, I think it's very important to to kind of understand that okay, maybe I can do so much, maybe I can do so much, or I can do so much, and I can help because Seeking out. Seeking out. Help. I think that is actually the underlying thing for a patient, for a caregiver, help. Help. 
and like kitty bar my husband would have really important meetings but he said i have to come with you for your chemo and i would say no so and so will come with me for my chemo but he had created his own pressure that he can't let me go for my chemo myself oh, oh. and by the time we came to my radiation then i told him ab aapko साथ में आने की भी जरूरत नहीं है मैं जाऊंगी ड्राइवर जा रहा है मेरे साथ या मेरी कोई फ्रेंड आ जाती थी बीच बीच में तो आई थिंक केयर टेकर्स के लिए बिकॉज बहुत लंबी जर्नी है केयर टेकर के लिए भी सो आई थिंक केयर टेकर्स मस्ट टेक केयर ऑफ दम वो बहुत जरूरी है समथिंग फॉर एवरीबडी टू टेक अवे फ्रॉम दिस इंटरक्शन एंड इट इज क्वाइट every journey is unique in its own way but i think there are some some nuances or essence which is crystal clear which is something which everybody can take for future journeys and of that detection empathy care being positive by being positive i think punita was saying that take a step back pause and then take stock of the situation and there's always something better which is possible and ask for help and ask for help i think, I think that's very really important and for the medical fraternity also i think those 5 10 15 minutes with the patient are very precious and very personal and very private and should be respected fully so thank you thank, thank you, you for everything dr thank, thank you thank you so every cancer patient's journey is unique and that every interaction every personal experience is just that personal experience but i think few things remain immortal or remain something which is which is very uh, which everybody will take home from all this and that is that it's always possible to find a better solution be open minded one can google check out make a list but make sure don't get overwhelmed by the negative thoughts or negative information because it's very general just make a list of questions and engage on those questions that helps in finding the right answers also seek help i think this is something which i'm hearing for the first time as an advice don't feel lost don't feel lonely if you are not seeking out you will feel lonely i think when you are seeking out talking to people asking for help people will come there to help you and that is very precious and uh, for the medical fraternity also there are some messages to take home i think every time when i when we talk to patients and caregivers and we also go out as patients and their caregivers we also expect something from the other side and those experiences remain always there very important for all of us